Well, Your Majesty, if you're watching, I hope you have a wonderful celebration for your Jubilee and I hope you have many, many more years as our Queen because we all love you. This area here, we have a cabinet of the Queen Mother. So that's mainly all the Queen Mother in here. We have her husband, George VI in here, a lot of Princess Margaret down the bottom. And as we come back on this side, we have Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. Um, there's a lot of things from their wedding in there right through their anniversaries, um, all different anniversaries there. If we come over on this side, you can see that again all this is from the coronation right through the 1954 visit. Then we go through to the Jubilee 1977. Lots of Australian visits over here in this cabinet. Well, she, she must have been uh, like just a beautiful person before she became queen because everyone loved her just as a princess. She's fallen into a job that she was never in line for. It was only that um, uh, uncle abdicated that threw her into the line of accession. But um, I don't know, she's just done a wonderful job. How many people do you know been in the same job for over 70 years and have had to do some duty every day like I think they said there's only a couple of days out of that 70 years where she's been too ill to actually do anything but she's had to work every day for that 70 years that's a long time isn't it don't think I could do it This is one of my favourite plates. This one has the Queen Mother, Queen Elizabeth and Princess Margaret. And I just think that's a beautiful family portrait. Well, there might be a chance if she sends me an invite to the garden party, I'll be there in a flash. Um, we've never caught up with the Queen because each visit she came out, I was only a young mum at the time with children and you know, you were working mum as well and it just didn't didn't fall into place. But yes, I'd love to go back to England and um, front up for a garden party one day. That'd be nice. This is Diana and Charles's room. So there's lots and lots of things. This is actually what started it. And if we have a look in the cabinet, there's a coin here. That was the original coin that started everything off back in 1981. Well, I mean, as I grew up, every little girl wanted to be a princess, so to see pictures of the Queen and the royal family, you know, that was all exciting. Andrew was the prince that everybody wanted to marry at the time. A um, little bit different now. When you get older, you see things differently. And then Diana came along and she was just the fairy tale that everybody wanted, and that's how it all began. Started out with Diana and grew from there. We are the largest in Australia. Guinness Book of World Records thought we may have been the largest in the world, but I know there's a lady in England that has more than us. So hopefully she will see this, and if she does, give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. He was actually made when George was born, um, and we actually did a mock christening for baby George. Uh, do we start with the sons-in-law? They think I should be locked up somewhere. The girls just say, oh no, we don't want to deal with this when you die. But when we have special events and things, they do like to see what happens and the grandchildren have picked out all their pieces to keep when I've fallen off the perch. So, I don't know, cross between being locked up and um, being a bit silly, I don't know. <laughs> they all have different opinions. There's always plenty of dusting to deal. Anything out of the cabinets, 
Just gets a touch up every now and then to keep it nice and clean. Probably William. It was always Harry. I always felt sorry for Harry because he was, you know, second in line, didn't quite have, you know, all the special opportunities that William had. But he doesn't want to be there anymore. So William probably and Catherine and the kids love the kids. Absolutely beautiful.